1998, my family decided to move to beautiful lush Nuuwanu to create a new home. Rasta Punk music to keep bringing you some meditation. While looking for a suitable property, my parents wanted something that was special and unique. They found that in the Awai system. When growing up, my brother and I found fishing and playing the Awai very enjoyable. This bond is the reason why I chose to restore the Awai for my cap seeds project. The Awai is basically an irrigation system. We take water from, from a major stream and we use it for various and sundry purposes. Man-made ditches, also known as an awai, provided fresh water to the crops of ancient Hawaiians. The Hawaiians believed that the water belonged to the gods, therefore water was sacred. But as new Wanu transitioned from agricultural to residential, this mindset was lost. Then in 1978, the government ceased their regular maintenance of the awai systems, leaving the faith of the water systems to the people of new Wanu. The mission is really simple. You get people become people become more aware of how important this thing is and get their their kuku and their help in keeping it alive. It's just an old piece of Hawaii and it deserves to be kept. In order to help the Hawaii system, I joined the Nu'uwanu Hawaii Study Group. The study group is a community-based organization composed the members of the community with the Awai system running through their property. These members are devoted to the support and care of various Awai systems. To be more specific, the New Uwanu Awai study group is in charge of the upkeep of three main Awai streams. The Pohoa Awai in which Mr. Wilson lives, the Pu'uyiva Awai that runs through the New Uwanu Elementary School, and the Pohoa Ili'ili Awai, which runs through my house. Oh boy, <laughs> get planning. <laughs> uh, the, uh, it's hard to get people, older people especially, involved in the maintenance of their Awai that runs through their property. We try to come up with a concept if you get involved in the person above you, your property, and the person below you, then the system would automatically take care of itself. We haven't been able to do that. The, uh, we're still trying, but we haven't pulled that off. Uh, some people don't pay any attention to it. They don't realize that it really improves the value of their property. Aside from the lack of volunteer help, the three main problems that the Awai faces are debris accumulation, diversion of water, and the compromise of water quality. Often after storms or heavy rainfall, debris accumulates upstream, preventing water flow from flowing properly downstream. This results in low water levels and places fish and other living organisms in jeopardy of their lives. To prevent these problems from occurring, the study group has appointed one or two Luna Y or a person in charge of monitoring the health and condition of a particular Awai. As a senior member of the study group, my father is the Luna Y of the Pohoa Ali'ili Awai. When the water is too low, he drives upstream to remove debris and other objects blocking the flow of water. On his last run up, I decided to accompany him and document the process of clearing debris in an Awai. Upon arrival of our destination, a man guided us through his property in order to reach the Pohoa Ili'ili Awai. As we marched into what seemed like a jungle, my father would stop at particular locations to make sure water flow was adequate.
Further downstream, he emptied a debris catcher, created to prevent leaves from flowing further downstream to build up and prevent water flow. In order for the water to flow downstream, sometimes the water must pass through tunnels and pipes. Sometimes these pipes get clogged with debris. So accompanied with his sturdy pole cleaner staff, my father would poke through the water passageways, breaking up any debris that may have accumulated. Realizing the problem wasn't located at this location, we decided to move further downstream to find the problem. As we moved further down the Po Li'ili Awai, we approached another property with an Awai system running through it. It is essential and extremely helpful that these community members cooperate with the study group, for this cooperation will benefit the Awai system as a whole. Shortly after arrival to the Awai, we found the problem. It seems someone had cut grass and allowed the shavings to fall into the Awai. Though it may seem like a small deal, the grass shavings collected in the stream causing minimal water flow, affecting anyone living further downstream. Wasting no time, we went straight to work, clearing any grass and restoring water flow to the Awai. The following Tuesday, I joined the study group for one of their monthly meetings at the Queen Emma Summer Palace. In this meeting, we discussed about a problem with the Pohoa Awai. There seemed to be a buildup of dirt jeopardizing the flow of water. Members of the community explained how it required heavy lifting and was a hard task to complete. As a member of the group, I took it upon myself to carry out this duty for my action. For my action, I asked some of my friends to come down to the Pohoa Awai to help me. We spent close to three hours weeding, shoveling, and carrying dirt to help restore water flow to this Awai. It was a hard process, but a great experience. We started off pulling weeds and other vegetation in the area to loosen up the dirt. We then shoveled the loose dirt into buckets, carried them, and placed them onto a stone wall. This is where another person would dump the dirt into a community member's yard. Each bucket of dirt weighed about 30 pounds, but with each bucket removed from the pile, we slowly started to see our impact. After three full bags of weeds, 31 buckets of dirt, and a fresh coat of mud, we finished. My experience with the new Owano Always Study Group is something that I'll never forget. Through this project, I was able to connect with my community and meet the unsung heroes in Owano. I will continue to help my father with the upkeep of the Pahoa Ali'ili Awai and will attend as many study group meetings as possible. In the future, I hope that more people will see the importance of the new Owano Awai system, giving it more support and care. We must keep the flow of the Awai running, for as the sacred waters run, so does the cultural legacy of new Owano.